Welcome back everybody. This is Cliff again with a, another episode of Boot Camp for Combat. And in this unit, I just want to go over some of the niceties that Greg Amos has included in our campaign module in Vassal. I'm getting ready to start my fourth campaign and I thought, well, this is a good opportunity to just roll up a squad and show you kind of what's involved in that process and how this vassal module works. I know Greg has done sort of an overview too. I'll try to walk you through the process of rolling up a squad if you're starting your own campaign. Maybe you'll find that interesting. We'll give it a shot. So anyway, I'm going to use my um, personal copy from Greg that has more tables in it than the production copy. All the tables are in your scenario rules of play for the campaign. Now I'm just going to start a new one. As solo, don't even know why you have to ask me that. It's the only way you can play. And I don't want a log file. And we come in and we get this calendar view. The main view for the one year you're going to be in the war starting from June 6th, even though the calendar goes to June 1st, to the end, an armistice day, May 45 on the 8th. The very first thing we need to do is pick our little paper dolls. They're here. Got A through Z and a couple extra characters. We got Erica and a reporter, unarmed. That you can give names and stuff to. This is the main way I like to play. All right, and we have to set up our squad. So we have to pick who's going to be our squad leader. And for this, you just hold the control key and a number for one through nine. So I like this guy. Control one is going to be our squad leader. Now I need my medic. My medic, I'm going to make this guy. Control 2. Then I need a rifleman for Abel. I like this guy. Control 3. I need a BAR gunner. I like... Well, let's use G this time. Control 4. Baker needs a rifleman. Um, why not I? Control 5. And Baker needs a rifle grenadier. I like L. Control 6. All right, now I need an assistant squad leader out of Charlie. And, oh, I like N. That'll be control seven. And I need another medic. Who looks like a medic? That looks like a medic. It'll be a control eight. And I need a rifleman. Um, boom, 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 boom. I already got one of these guys. Um. Let's fix that control 9. A 10, 11, and a 12 is control alt 1, 2, and 3. So I need three rifle grenadiers. So do control alt 1, um, control alt 2, and control alt 3. And there's all my paper dolls picked up. I won't need this character's display anymore. Now we need to give all these guys their information. Let's do the top row first. The two sheets, our roster sheets, side one here is Abel and Baker, side two is Charlie. Do Abel and Baker first. There we are. I will figure out what we're going to call them afterwards. We got Abel. This guy is B. This guy's E. You just click return D return. Click return G return. I and L. Click 
return i return click return l return so we know which letter corresponds to which soldier now i need to give them names so that's going to come out of our folder here of information got all sorts of setup charts got the skills chart our squad creation protocol this is right out of 48 what I'm running through right now with my printed copy their weapon skills and troop quality skills name chart origin chart I'm gonna give everybody names first so everybody gets two d100s so I'm gonna give them 42 William 70 William James All right 3760 Aaron Rivera Nineteen eighty seven Jordan Hughes seventy four eighteen Mason Martinez. Ninety-eight sixty-one, Eli Cooper. And fifty-five sixty-two, Mike Richardson. Go to their origins. Where are they from? We roll a D100. 14 is from New Orleans, Louisiana. Eighty-two. Canton, Ohio. Twenty five Columbus, Ohio, Midwest Boys, thirty seven Akron, Ohio, really Midwest Boys, twenty eight Oakland. California. Thirty two. Saint Paul, Minnesota. Well, this is a pretty Midwestern team. All right. <clears throat> now we need to roll for weapons and teach. Q and leadership stuff. So if I go back to set up here, a squad leader, got a hometown, D6 for a rank. One. He's a sergeant. D10 for TQ. And then he's going on weapons. He's got to see what he's going to get one through four for a grease gun. So let's do TQ. Got to do a leadership too. 
Do do do. Let me see this setup again. Yeah, let's just do it in order. T D10 for TQ. He rolls a nine. Crap. Um, TQ three. That sucks. So it just it's um shift T for TQ three. That's about as bad as you can get. Experience points. It's going to be zero. All right. Do do do. Two skills on the skill table. Okay. Let's do the skill table. Two zero. Eagle eyes. No. Reroll. Five six. Scout. I'll take scout. Hand yum patrols. Oh, for original. I like to note when I got the skills. And one more skill. And I come back here. 25. Rifle grenade, no way. 27. Field craft. These are not the best skills. All right, roll a d6. Rolls a four. One to four is a grease gun. And he's gonna get a grenade. And he's gonna get a pistol. All right, now we need his weapon skill. So here we are, D10s, three of them. Five, eight, four. Three, three, four. He is pretty darn raw as far as leaders go. That is about as bad as you can get. All right. Now for the rest of them. This guy is going to get a M1 and a grenade. This guy's going to get an M1 and a grenade. Baker here. This is going to be my BAR man. And a grenade. And A medic, rifle and grenade, bar, BAR and grenade, rifle grenade, for grenade, the last one's a rifle grenade. Yeah, so this guy's just a rifle and a grenade. This guy's got a rifle, grenade, 
and a rifle grenade. All right. So then we just have to go to weapon skills here. This guy doesn't get any skills. He's got zero experience points. I'll accept my zeros. Yeah, I know, I'm compulsive. Okay. We need a TQ and then two rifle skills. A TQ first and then two skills. So we got a five, four, zero. Five for TQ is a four. Um. Four for a weapon skill is a four. And a zero for a weapon skill is a five. Hughes, three rolls. One, three, three. One for a TQ is a five. Now here. Shift T T T T. Three for a weapon skill is a four. Three rolls here. Two, five, seven. Two for TQ is a five. Shift T T T T. Two. Five, seven. Five for a weapon skill is a three and a three. Okay, three rolls here. Nine, five, two. Nine for TQ is a three. Shift TT. Five, two is three, four. Four rolls here. One, two, three, six, one. Two on TQ is a five. Shift T T T T. Two, three, six, one. Four, three, four. Here we are. We're starting out our squad morale. We'll just be okay. I just use the arrow keys to move around. We don't have any merit points, so I just increase it and then I decrease it to make it be zero. No rerolls. No demerits. No must rerolls. There's sheet one done for the moment. We could pull up sheet two. Close this for a second. So this is from click, enter, and enter, click, enter, oh, enter. Click, enter, R, enter, click, enter, Q, enter, no, just Q. Click, enter, W, enter, click, enter, U. There we are. All right, got to get some names here. Ooh, I forgot one thing. Um, our medic. Position two is our medic position here. Yep, so he's got a medic skill. Got to give him a medic skill. OK, 
Okay, this is an original skill too. Okay. Nobody else hit anything else here. Nope. Nope. That's our bar. B-A-R. Okay. So far, so good. I guess we should decorate these guys up while we're at it here. Before we move on, let's do this. So this guy's a TQ. He's a private. TQ of four. TQ of five is a PFC. Um, TQ of five here is a PFC. TQ of three is just a lowly private. TQ of five here is a PFC. So we got Sergeant James. Give this guy his name. All right. Do do do. Name and rank. Sergeant James. And this guy's Private Rivera. Help oh, if I could type. Name. Why am I so blind? Name and rank. This is PFC Hughes. Name and rank. PFC Martinez. Name and rank. Private Cooper. Name and rank. PFC Richardson. All right. I've got to give this guy a leadership value. So, medic leadership, a D10, seven, so one. And for my assistant squad leader, four, which is a one. They're both ones. Okay. So leadership skill here is one. He's got a TQ of three. He's a three, three, four. Three. Three. Four. Skill one, scout. Combat skill one, scout one. Combat skill two, field craft. Missed. Combat skill two. Field craft. There. Rivera's got a TQ of four. And he's a four five. Hughes, TQ of five, he's a five four four. Five. Four. Four. 
Martinez. Martinez this is a five three three. Cooper is a three three four. And Richardson is a uh, four five four three four. Five four three four. All right, that got rid of A. All done. This guy's gonna have a leadership of one. So I don't forget. This guy gets a medic. Combat skill one is a medic. This guy gets a medic. Combat skill one is a medic. There. So got our medic there, got our medic there. Got our leaderships on. Okay, now we can finish up on two. Let me get sheet two up over here where I can see it. Now we're ready to roll for names and stuff. So let's go back to names. So, 4675, Matt Price. Sixty-nine, fifteen. Will Martin. Sixty-two, nineteen. Cole Robinson. Ninety-six, fifty-three, Louis Rogers, sixty-five, ninety-four, Samuel Bryant. And last name, 9485, Garrett Long. We'll give Garrett two T's. All right, now for their hometowns. Boom. Zero. New York, New York. Boom. Ninety four. Lynn, Massachusetts. Seventy one. Erie, PA. Boom. Two. Philadelphia, PA. Boom. Sixty-five. Chattanooga. Chattanooga, Tennessee, and lastly, 73, 
Wichita. Kansas. Alrighty. This guy's going to be a leadership of one. sheet one I should list that too yeah got my leadership one okay this guy's gonna have a medic skill Can I put the medic skill on the other one? Yes. Okay. What? Um, put this into weapon skill mode. This guy is going to roll a d6 for weapons. Rolls a 5. Gets a Thompson. Do, do, do. Gets a Thompson. Okay. We need three rolls for him. We'll give him a Thompson first. Insert weapon. He gets a Thompson and a grenade. Grenade. And then we got rifles. Two riflemen. Then three rifle grenadiers. All set up. There's all their weapons. Oh, XP here. Just shift EF. All right. Now, the three rolls here. TQ and two weapon skills. One, five, two. One for TQ. It's a five. Then five and two. Five, three, four. Five, three, four. Three rolls here. Three, two, eight. Four, four, three. And three rolls here. Seven, nine, one. That sucks. 
three, three, five. Four rolls here. Nine, three, four, three, zero. Three, five, four, four, five. Goes three, four, three, zero. Three, Four four five three four four five three goes four 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 five four 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 five I can do it I really can four 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 five four rolls here two seven seven five five three 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 four rolls here one two five zero five four three five five four three five I'm liking that this guy gets some leadership skills. One skill. Seventy one. Plus one weapon skill. Plus one weapon skill. Original. That brings his weapon skill up to a four. That helps. So now I can give these guys their names. He's going to be a corporal. Corporal Price. I'm going to give him his rank here. TQ of four, this guy's going to be a private. TQ of three, just a private. TQ of three is a private. TQ of four is a private. TQ of five is PFC. TQ of five is PFC. Here we got Private Martin. We've got Private Robinson, we've got Private Rogers, we've got PFC Bryant, and PFC Long. Now I've got to put in their information on their paper dolls. He's a 5-4-4 four, four with a leadership of 1. Q, 5. Weapon skill, 4. Grenade, 5-4-4. Four, four. He's a 4-4-3 four, four, and he's a medic. Four, four, three, and 
Yankees and Magic. This is a 335. Three, three, five. This is a four, 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 five, four, 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 five. This is a uh, five three 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 and last guy is a five four three five. Here's all our paper dolls. And that is a squad rolled up. Now, there's one other thing I like to do. I like to give them birthdays. I don't need this for that. But I do need sheet A back. I'll put A over here. I'm going to roll for their birthdays. Because <clears throat> I like to see how old they are. See if anyone's having a birthday in the middle of a battle. I pull up here my birthday card I just roll a d100 and a d10 so I'm going to put it off to the side a little bit here so I can well I'll just have to get it back to the front I need a d100 and d10 51 and a 1. William James, 51, July 12, So he will be turning um, 19. So he's 18 right now. And a D100. And a D10. 8 and 6. Eight. January 28, 1916. January 28, 1916. Okay. Which means he's already 28. Next guy. 60, 0. August 10, 1926. Which means he'll be turning 18 in August. So he's 17 right now. Just a lad. Fifty one zero July twelve, nineteen twenty six. So also seventeen. Going to be turning in July. Thirty-eight one, May twenty-nine of twenty-five. Thirty-eight 
May 29 of 25. He's already turned 19. Ninety four five December thirteen, nineteen eighteen. Which means he will be turning twenty six, so he's twenty five. Mike Richardson, sixty three, seven. August 28 of 14. So he'll be turning 30. He's 29. Let's give Price a birthday. 56.2. July 27th of 24. He's going to be turning 20, so he's 19. Martin 29 0. April 29 of 26. He's already turned 18. I can type. Now let's do Louis Rogers. I think I got mixed around there. I don't know what I did. It doesn't matter. Keep going. 43-3. June 8. Of 22. And he's got a birthday coming up real soon. And he's going to be turning 22, so he's 21. He's going to have a birthday, probably while we're coming ashore. Happy birthday, Private Rogers. Um, 29-0. April 29, already had it. Um, of 26, which makes him a fresh 18, and last one, 43-9, June 8, another June 8 birthday, they share birthdays. And nine, but he's an old man, 1904. He's 39 years old. The old man in the group is going to be turning 40 on the beach. And Louis Rogers is going to be turning 22 at the same time. Well, they can celebrate together. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to see what kind of training they had and what kind of experience they had in England. And for that, we need to go to our, now we don't need our chapters yet, we need to go to our setup.
events training in England. For this you roll a d100 and by rolling by rule you're only supposed to roll once and read both. 69 which is training is poor, gain 2 MMR and in England the squad bonds and we gain a morale level. So I'm going to play it by the rules. Training is poor, we got to gain 2 MRR, but we gain a morale level. So what I do is I pull up roster sheet 1 again. We got to gain 2 MRRs. So we got to increase that, increase that. We gain our squad morale level, which brings us up from OK to good. That's pretty good. And in sheet B, side 2, under the notes, I say, enter text, um, poor training two MRRs bonding plus one morale level. So there we are, we got our training <coughs> and we got our bonding in England. We get shipped on to a landing craft, shuttled across. Let's see what day we land on. So back here, rule 2d6 plus 6 for days. This is 2d6 from June 6th. So I roll 2d6. Boom, boom. 11 plus 6 is 17. We land on the 17th. So on our calendar, I use shortcuts here. I, I like these. And we can say this is training. Control T. Should be daily. Notes. Clear. We've got no event. Event patrol mission. Training. Alt Z. Alt Z for training. Frontline status. Training. Doesn't really do anything. Okay. We're going to say no events for those. That's control N. No event. There's 11 plus 6 is 17. So all the way up to here. No events. And here's an event. Control E. And I can put in a note. Alt N. Where's my note at? There's my note hiding. Feet dry. All right. Now when we come in, we have to see what we're going to be put at. Zero to five, we're on reserve. Six, we get more training. Seven, straight to the front line. Eight, straight to the front line. Nine is, we're going to intensive. Roll a two. We're in the reserves. So we just put this in reserves, which is control R. Command R. Frontline status, reserve, Alt-R. All these should be Alt-Ts, Control-Zs, whatever, training. Training doesn't show up as a color. And then we just start rolling. We've now set up our group. We've landed on the beach. D-Day plus a bunch, almost two weeks. 
A couple of people celebrated their birthday while we were back in England. The only other thing I do is I like to track my guys over time as to what they're doing. Well, first of all, let me run through the other screens here. When you're going to go on patrol, we, we've got our squad roster, we've got a patrol roster. When you're going to send people on patrol, you can assign them to patrol here. Assign to patrol, control P, and they'll appear over here on your patrol. Um, Greg's already shown how to do many patrols, and I've done some social patrols. So you can see how that's done. Your missions, you can pull out of... Well, first of all, we got to take our chapter here. We're now in Normandy. And here we are on day 18. It sets the day. All right, when you're ready to do missions, you got your missions here. They're all in your thing. Your patrol charts are all in your thing. You don't have all the campaign charts, but they're all in your books. I made up a weather chart that's universal by month. That's included in here. It's also on BGG in the files section. The other thing I like to do is I like to set up my roster in Excel. I put this sheet out so I can track people's performance over time. So this is going to be Sergeant James. He's my squad leader. And he's going to be an able. And then I've got Private Rivera. He's going to be an able. And I've got PFC Hughes. He's an able. I've got oh yeah, Rivera's my medic, isn't he? He's a medic. Okay. I've got PFC Martinez. He's my BAR guy. He's in Baker. I've got Private Cooper. And he's in Baker. I'm just putting a B in there. And I've got PFC Richardson. And he's in Baker. And he's a rifle grenadier. Okay. She too. Then I've got Corporal Price. He's my assistant squad leader. He's in Charlie. I've got Private Martin. He's a medic. He's in Charlie. I've got Private Rogers. I've got oh, Robinson. I forgot Robinson. P. Private Robinson, Private Roberts. I got PFC Bryant, who's a rough grenadier. Private Long, PFC Long. There's also a rifle grenadier. Rogers is also a rifle grenadier. These are all in Charlie.
all color coded and we are out to the 17th already so we could just take this guy and drag it out to the 17th there we are we're all healthy and out to the 17th This way I can keep track of who's wounded when, over time, who dies, who comes in as replacements, who gets promotions when. You can read about, you can watch a video that I made for how to use this sheet. And I also made it so you can keep track of their KIAs, the POWs that they capture, and any awards like Purple Hearts. Bronze star, silver star, whatever you happen to earn. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's my squad. Got to think of what they're going to be called. <clears throat> That'll probably develop over time. And I'm just going to save this. Save as. I'm going to put it on my desktop as campaign four. And this I'm going to file, save game as, just throw it on the campaign four on the desktop. And there you go. That is how you roll up a squad, how you get through training in England, Keeping track of birthdays, we've got a couple of dates that I need to update now. A couple people have had birthdays, they had a party back in England at the pub, bonding. That's probably part of the bonding that drove them together, increased morale. Had a couple of birthdays there. You can already see the narrative developing and we haven't even played. That is what I wanted to show you today. I'll run through some of the myriad number of keyboard shortcuts on the mission module next time. And I will see you then.